Welcome back to Family Sunday School. I'm glad you could join us this morning. This week's lesson is about family. You know, I come from a very, very large family. Did you know that I have two sisters and one brother? I have two sons and two daughters, one son-in-law, two daughters-in-law, five granddaughters, three grandsons, and I also have five nieces and six nephews and a whole bunch of great nieces and great nephews. I had five uncles, two aunts, and four grandparents. You should see our family gatherings at Christmas time. It's crazy around here. You know, God cares for us as communities, as families, and as individuals. In today's Bible story, God has a special relationship with a man named Abram and his wife Sarai. God makes a promise to Abram that he would be the father of a nation with as many descendants as stars in the sky. Do you know what the word descendants means? It's a pretty big word. It means children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren and on and on and on. So that's a lot of descendants, as many as there are stars in the sky. How many is that? Way too many to count. Abram responds not with fear or mistrust, but in faith. Abram does what God asks of him. And he follows, and God follows through on God's promise. And we all benefit from this promise. Each of us is part of this family and faith of the promise that God made and that Abram believed. I hope you have fun watching the video of Abram and Sar Sarai's story. I've also included a few songs to sing along with. For a craft this week, why don't you get together with the rest of your family and make a family tree? Do a little bit of research and find out the names of some of your family members. And if you have friends who are like family close enough that you would include them, feel free to make them on the branch, you know, add them to your branches or your leaves of your family tree. I'll show you my family tree too. Here it is. That was just a simple version of my family tree. Um, but enjoy this week's lessons and um, please join me in a prayer before we even get started. Loving God, thank you for the promise that you made to Abram and that you continue to make to us. Thank you for our families and those who are like parents in the faith to us. We thank you for all of our family members who have gone on before us. Please inspire us to live out God's promise this week and to inspire others to follow God's promise. Amen. Have fun and I'll see you again next week. Bye.